Hi everyone, welcome to the Healing Guide TV. I'm Carol Serby. I want to thank you very much for joining me here today. Today we are talking about supporting the foot chakra. Today we are going to learn about energy circles. Now the foot chakra has always been in existence. It is a chakra that a lot of people, most people haven't paid much attention to up until now. From the shift of last year, we're really starting to find that the the foot chakra, which has always been a part of the root chakra, is really starting to pull away and create and define its own energies. Um, so in any chakra work that I'm starting to do now, I'm really starting to integrate the foot chakra into it as well. So that's any chakra clearing I do, any chakra, chakra uh, workshops or meditations. Um, I really, really, really start to integrate the foot chakra now because it is becoming an energy unto itself. Um, yeah, so today we're going to talk about how to feel and sense and activate that foot chakra. Um, the foot chakra is all about standing in your ground, holding your power, staying in your place. Um, and I, and I don't, I don't say staying in your place in a negative way. I mean, just staying in who you are. Um, it, it really is the grounding aspect. The root chakra used to always be considered uh, the grounding chakra. It is to a degree, but that duty is going more to the foot chakra at this point in time. Um, so I just want to go over a quick little energy exercise with you here. I want you to stand up. Okay. I'm not sure that I can actually stand up and have you be able to see what I'm doing here. I want you to stand up and then I want you to look down at the ground. Okay. Just look down at the ground. Now, I want you to bend down. I'm not going to because I'll get out of the, the camera shot here. And I want you to bend down. And I want you to stretch your hand out with your pointy and point your finger. See? Stretch your hand out and point your finger. And I want you to reach out and in front of you and actually touch the ground. Okay? So you're bent down. You're reaching out with your finger. And I want that finger to actually touch the ground that you're, that you're standing on. And I want you to make a great big sweeping motion. And with that finger on the ground, I want you to draw a big circle all the way around you. You can only go halfway. Well, start with the other hand, pick it up around the other side, and complete it on the back. Now, if you stand up, now you have this imaginary circle that you've drawn with your finger on the ground all around you. Pretty straightforward. Okay. That is your footprint for your foot chakra. Now your foot chakra, the actual energetic aspect of it is two to three feet below the surface of the earth. It's a, it's a magnetic plate that actually moves with you. And it, like I say, it's ma magnetized. So it actually holds you to the ground. Okay. Hence the term grounding. Okay, we've got those those magnetic um, uh, electronic I forget what they're called piezo something something some fancy science word. Anyways, it's the it's the electronic charge between you and the magnetic ground that holds you grounded, holds you in your space. Okay, so what happens is when we get disconnected from our root chakra, that that connection to the ground breaks okay and that's when you start to feel airy and lofty and unfocused and can't quite help yourself and you don't quite know where to turn and you can't quite move forward in your life and you hate your job and you la 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 okay so what we need to do in order to empower you to make beneficial decisions for you from this point moving forward we need to ground you okay so now you have this imaginary circle around you. Now I want you to look at it. If you haven't already, take a deep breath. I want you to look at the circle. And I want you to notice 
if you see any color. Is that circle any color? Doesn't have to be red, doesn't have to be orange, it doesn't have to be. So what color do you notice? What color do you notice? You don't notice the color? That's fine too. We're not here to pressure you, we're not here to push you. What I will say though, it's for those people that don't notice the color, I want you to know that there is a color there. And one of your goals can be to get yourself to the point where you trust yourself enough to know what that color is. Okay? So we're imagining we see that color. Doesn't matter what color there is at this point in time, there is no color that's associated with the root chakra. So it's whatever resonates with you, it's whatever your body is vibrating at. And you could see two colors. You could see yellow and a green, and they could be, you know, morphing together. That's fine. Whatever you see, you see. No one's here to judge that. Okay? So now you have this circle. And while you're standing there, I want you to just lift a foot up and place it down. Lift your other foot up and place it down. Just gently march on the spot. Okay, marching on the spot. Now, as your feet touch the ground, you lift it up and it goes down, up, down. As your foot touches the ground, do you notice any sparks? They could be clear, or they could be another color, or they could be the same color as your foot chakra. Do you notice? any sparks. Again, if you don't notice, that's fine. Nobody's here to judge. That's fine. As you march on the ground in your space that you have created for yourself, I want you to notice are your feet warming up. Can you feel heat being generated on the bottom of your feet? Yeah, pretty cool, eh? Okay, so we got some heat generating. That means that the electrical charges between your or your foot chakra and your actual feet are now starting to connect. Okay, and when you get those electronic connections, when electrons are bouncing around and they're moving around and they're having their having their little party, they start to vibrate. And the faster they vibrate, the more heat they generate. Okay, that's the science part. <laughs> you know me, I love to bring science in. Okay, so the heat is being generated. So now you're feeling the heat. So now what? Okay, you're still marching in spot. So now I want you to stop. Okay, and I want you to start, pick a foot, and I want you to start, and I want you to gather all the energy as it pooms out. Just a motion like this. Again, it's not in my camera shot, so I'm not going to bend down. I want you to go down to your foot. And I want you to start gathering all the energy. Gather it at your toes. Gather over the top of your foot, over your arch, up over your heel, up your ankle. Gather it up your shin bone, up your calf, up the back, up behind the knee, up over your knee, up over your thigh, up over your hip. Okay? And let it hold there for a minute and you go do the other leg. Do you feel that warming sensation? moving up with the energy as it gathers and billows up your leg. You feel the, the connections being made while we move this energy up, up to the thigh, up to the hip. Okay, now bring this energy, bring it up in front of you. Okay, you're just fluffing the energy, moving it up, moving it up, same. Get up under the sides of your torso, up under your armpits. Do your best to reach around your back if you can. Do your best. I know it's kind of hard to get over there, but just do your best. Up one hand. Okay. Up one hand. Up over the elbow. Up. Up on the back. Up on the inside. Up over the shoulder. And the same thing with the other hand. 
up the arm. Don't forget into the armpit. Get that all fluffed up. Get that all fluffed up. Now bring it up over your shoulders, the back of your neck, your throat. Bring it up over your jaw, your ears. Bring it up to the top of your head. Bring it up over your face. Bring it up over your face. Oh, that feels good. Okay, so now I'm bringing it straight up through my crown chakra. Okay, up to source. So now you are fully connected at your feet, right up through the core of your body, right up through, right up through your pineal, and right out the crown chakra. So now you should be really feeling warm and really feeling connected. You probably even feel a little bit taller. It's kind of a neat thing that happens. So now what I want you to do is I want you to just go in front of your belly. And I want you to just gather, gather a great big ball of this energy. That's okay. You got lots to spare. You, you don't need to be, you don't need to be chintzy with it. You've got lots to spare. You can even give some to a friend if you want. It's fine. You, the, the more you use it, the more you get. It's, it's that way. Okay. Um, the easier, the easier you make your access to it, the quicker it comes. So just gather up and you got this great big ball of energy. I want you to take this great big ball of energy and I want you to throw it up into the sky. Oh. You feel that? Did you feel it go? Excellent. Okay, I want you to do it again. Another big ball of energy. It's okay. You've got lots to choose and lots to gather from. Don't worry. Okay, this one here, we're going to throw down into the ground. Oh. Now, I want you to just. Stand in the middle of your circle. I want you to take a couple of deep breaths while I'm talking. And I want you to feel that energy moving up through your body. I want you to feel it invigorating yourself. I want you to feel it creating focus creating the ability to move forward. I want you to feel it creating the strength within yourself to make the decisions that have to be made for your highest good. I want you to know that by looking after yourself first, you are better able to look after others. Another deep breath. After doing an exercise like this, 30 seconds of integration is what you need. 30 seconds to allow your body to feel the effects of the actions that you just did. Use this exercise whenever you're feeling pulled in too many directions, whenever you're feeling unfocused whatever you feel as though you need to ground. I hope that you use it daily. And the thing is, is once you know how to use it, once you're comfortable using it, you don't necessarily have to do it, um, you know, in the bathroom before you jump in the shower where your family can't see you. If you're in line up at the grocery store and you're in line up at the bank, you can go through your imagination and do everything that we just did. And even though you're not physically doing the actions, but if you can see yourself in your mind's eye doing everything that we just did, the effects will be the same. They will be very beneficial. So if you find yourself getting unfocused, lacking clarity, not knowing what direction to turn, try the energy circles. Try grounding yourself through your foot chakra. Thank you very much for joining me here on the Healing Guide TV. I'm Carol Servi. Goodbye.